What's up everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and long stuff. I got an Arsenal inventory update to do for you guys. Vinyl this time, and I have a nice stack of freshly ground dynamite to run through here today. But first what we're listening to in the background. Cannibal Corpse. The Bleeding. I don't need to say anything. Y'all already know. Alright. First record I'm going to show you is something that I've been anticipating for a very long time. Ever since I first heard one of my friends tell me about this. And I'll tell you the story as soon as I'm done showing this to you. This is Full of Hell with Roots of Earth and Rudiments of Mutilation. Yeah. This is a 2020 self-release from the band. Now let me lay out the story for you. Back in November of last year when I saw Full of Hell with Atheist and Cattle Decapitation, I was talking with Dylan and he was giving me the rundown of things that were going to be potentially happening with the band in the future. One of those things is the possibility of self-releasing their own music. Whether it be old or new, I was very, very intrigued and curious as to how things were going to work out. And now fast forwarding to this new year, we have FOH number one. That being a reissue of this band's first two full lengths, Roots of Earth Are Consuming My Home and Rudiments of Mutilation. Of course, those both were originally released on A389 recordings, but the band has since acquired the rights and the licenses to put out both of these albums, and they did so in this two LP compilation. Of course, if you know Full of Hell nowadays, this band pretty much transcends every single musical genre there is, whether it be power violence or grindcore or even death metal. This band has so many distinctive sounds, it's hard to pinpoint just one particular sound. But these particular first two albums show the band in their early sentient stages, whether it had that dark, hardcore, power violence aesthetic on Roots of Earth or Consuming My Home, or to where they decided to experiment and become a little bit more noisier and more aggressive with rudiments of mutilation. I think both of these albums still hold up the test of time, and of course these both, both of these albums are commemorative of the band's 10 year anniversary. Absolutely insane body of work this band has put out, and I'm looking forward to 10, 20, or even 30 more years, depending on how long this band wants to continue making music, but yeah. Roots of Earth and Rudiments of Mutilation are two fantastic albums. I mean, if you're a Full of Hell fan, this is definitely something to be looking into or purchasing. I mean, if anything, songs like Endless Drone, Dregs of Pluto, The Oars Are Broken, uh, Vessel Deserted, uh, Throbbing Lung Fiber, The Lord Is My Light, Bone Coral and Brine, absolute genius classic full of hell songs and I'm glad they're here in this cool little compilation so anyway here's the front cover very very nicely done elaborate artwork uncoated stock on this jacket there you see the full of hell logo I'll name all the detail in the artwork back cover with track listings and information this is also released as a two CD eight panel digipack you see this super badass gatefold with collage photographs detailing the band's history, all their band members, absolutely sick as fuck, 2009 to right now, amazing. Uh, comes with a printed lyric sheet with lyrics for both albums and the album cover arts and stuff, lyrics for Roots of Earth Are Consuming My Home, lyrics and credits for Rudiments of Mutilation. And I believe this got pressed on a wide multitude of LP variants, but the version I got is the most limited one. This is the Vessel's Deserted variant, and it's this um, green, this almost Coke bottle green color with black pinwheel. Absolutely insane. Of course, this is the Rudiments of Mutilation LP, side rudiments, side mutilation. Both LPs sound phenomenal. Um, I don't know if there are any copies left or if this is going to get a potential repress, but keep an eye and ear out for what the band does and how they can get this available out to you. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Full of Hell putting out more music. 
on their own and seeing where they decide to go from there. So yeah, Full of Hell, Roots of Earth, and Rudiments of Mutilation, fantastic career retrospective compilation. All right. This next one is going to be a little bit something different, but I've been hyping myself up for this band's new project ever since I first heard it get announced, and I look forward to hearing more and more as time goes along. This is Vatican Shadow with Media in the Service of Terror. Yeah. This is a 2016 release through Hospital Productions, and if you're not familiar with Vatican Shadow, it is a one-person project formed by a guy by the name of Dominic Ferno. You probably know Dominic Ferno best for his work in the project Prurient. Now, I've been a fan of Prurient, a, a, a fan and loyal listener of Prurient's music for many, many years. But I really have never given too much of my time and efforts to check out Vatican Shadow, which is another long-running musical project of his. And Vatican Shadow is something vastly and completely different. Whereas Prurient is experimental and shrill and noisy, Vatican Shadow is a lot more calm, subdued, and peaceful. But yet, still very aggressive in terms of what this project has put out in terms of visual aesthetics, uh, conceptual ideas, having to deal with war, the media, um, uh, illness, lots and lots of different sorts of musical influences and, and, uh, and aesthetical influences this project has done. I mean, it's hard to keep up with how many releases Vatican Shadow has done. And I know sometime in September, we're going to get a new Vatican Shadow album through 20 Bucks Spin, which I think will give Vatican Shadow a much bigger, wider sort of reach. And I honestly think in getting to listen through all of Vatican Shadow's material, I would consider this to be some of their best material. I mean, songs like More of the Same, Wherever There Is Money, There Is Unforgiveness, um, interrogation music, just some really, really strong music going on here. And of course, the visual and ideological aesthetics of this project are, are very intense stuff. Probably not for everyone, but I still think this is some really awesome music if you're into like electronic, dark ambient stuff. Um, just some very well executed music here, and I'm very happy to have something from Vatican Shadow in my collection. Hopefully I will get more as time goes along. So anyway, here's the front cover. Uncoated stock on this jacket. Love this picture of the United States with the Vatican Shadow uh, emblem in the middle. Very, very cool. Back cover with uh, track listing and credits. There you see these keys and what it says on the top here. For whoever has will be given more, but whoever does not have even what he has will be taken away from him. Very crazy stuff. Uh, it's a pretty bare-bones jacket, but the vinyl itself comes on this absolutely gorgeous aqua blue sort of color. Now you see side A, side B. Really, really high quality as to be expected from Hospital Productions, and um, yeah. I can't wait to hear the new Vatican Shadow, and if any of you guys are into Vatican Shadow, definitely let me know how you feel about it, and if you think, if you happen to prefer it over uh, Prurient. Absolutely love this project. But yeah, Vatican Shadow, Media in the Service of Terror, go check this one out. Next up, we have another uh, heavy hitter here, and if you're into both death metal or grindcore, an album like this needs absolutely no introduction. This is Repulsion with Horrified. Yeah. This was originally released in 1989, and this is a 2020 repress from uh, Relapse Records. And of course, last year this album celebrated its 30th anniversary. And if you're not familiar with Repulsion, this is a band that transcended and pretty much helped pave the way for what we know for both death metal and grindcore. Uh, grindcore for how short some of the songs are, death metal for how over the top some of the lyrics are. 
I mean, this is a very, very influential album. I mean, there's always been a long debate as to whether you can classify this album as death metal or grindcore or even both. Honestly, I tend to lean more towards the death metal side of the argument, but either which way, this album is very, very important and influential. I mean, this is definitely one of the classics, and of course, this is the only album that um, Repulsion ever did. They have never tried to duplicate or re replicate whatever success they've had, and they've maintained that sort of integrity ever since then. But I think that this album is a very important benchmark in the history of extreme metal, and 30 years later, it still holds up perfectly. So anyway, here's the front cover. Very legendary album cover art of the zombie dude. Really badass. Legendary album cover art. Back cover with track listing and credits. There you see this is a classic back print with all the band member photos. I love this picture of Dave Grave doing the drums. Very, very badass. Uh, comes with a lyric sheet. There you see collage photos of the band's history. Lyrics for all the songs. Of course, I have many copies of this album myself. Uh, I have the uh, two CD version with all the demos and the heavyweight original repress that came out almost 10 years ago, I think. But here's what makes this 30th anniversary edition so special. Picture disc. Yeah, this is the picture disc edition. There you see the zombie dude on side A. Side B you have the collage photo. I think Relapse did a very, very badass job with this uh, particular uh, pressing. And I don't get picture discs too often, but I had to get this one in commemoration of how badass Horrified is. But yeah, if you somehow have not heard of or listened to Horrified by Repulsion, I would highly recommend that you do so. This is a very, very important album in grindcore and death metal's history, and this continues to get better with every listen. So yeah, Repulsion, Horrified, go check this one out. Got some more death metal madness for you here, and this is of a band that I have listened to a lot, but honestly never owned too much music of them until now. This is Vital Remains with Forever Underground. Yeah. This is originally released in 1997, and this is a 2020 reissue through Osmos Productions. And if you're not familiar with Vital Remains, you probably know Vital Remains best for probably the era that featured um, Glenn Benton doing vocals on two albums like Dechristianize and... Uh, Icons of Evil, and then of course the later years with Brian Werner as their vocalist. They did a lot of consistent touring and playing all over the world, but for some reason they never really put out an album. <laughs> but um, I honestly think more people need to give Vital Remains' earlier works a proper listen and go through, because Vital Remains had some absolutely iconic material dating back to the early 90s, back when Jeff Gruslin was their vocalist. I definitely consider Jeff Gruslin to be the best vocalist Vital Remains ever had. Um, but yeah, if you know Vital Remains music, it's straight up traditional satanic death metal. Uh, very long songs, very complex songwriting. Of course, you can attribute that to somebody like Tony Lazaro. He's a great, great guitarist and songwriter. Uh, by the way, I hope you get well from the current uh, health situation that you're dealing with. I hope you get better soon. But yeah, this is their third full-length album. And of course, they put out two really killer albums with Let Us Pray and uh, Into Cold Darkness. But Forever Underground was the first real shift change in the band's existence when they were just whittled down to a trio. Uh, no Jeff Gruslin, it was just uh, Tony Lazaro, uh, Dave Suzuki, and Joseph Lewis. Uh, really, really great trio here. But these songs are just absolutely legendary. I mean, the title track, I Am God, uh, Farewell to the Messiah, just some really, really top-notch, top-quality songwriting going on here. And I think this is a really, really awesome album. I would definitely probably consider this the best Vital Remains album. I don't know what Vital Remains album holds high in your regards, but I definitely think that this is a fantastic Vital Remains record, and I cannot recommend this one enough. So anyway, 
Here's the front cover. Love this album cover. I dig the silver foil spot gloss. Uh, the foil embossment, excuse me. Really badass album cover art. Back cover with more silver foil embossment track listings. Comes on a printed inner sleeve with uh, lyrics on one side, band members on the other side, credits, and this is a 2020 reissue and it came on this very, very nice silver and swamp green merge. Very, very high quality as to be expected from Osmos on these reissues. It sounds awesome and I definitely think they always are awesome in putting out uh, reissues of uh, classic albums. So yeah. Forever Underground, Vital Remains, absolutely essential death metal. If you haven't heard of Vital Remains, or if you're just only aware of the era that has Glenn Benton in it, definitely listen to the stuff that they did before that. It's so fucking good. And last but not least, I said that I had a stack of Dynamite. I pretty much was referring to all of these records, but it was this particular one that I mean is the heaviest of Dynamite. This is Cyanide with Divide and Conquer. Yeah. This was originally released in 2000, and this is the 2020 reissue through uh, Hell's Headbangers Records. And of course, if you know Cyanide, they're based out of Chicago, Illinois, and I hold them in high regards as the heaviest band on the planet. I mean, everybody says KISS is the loudest band on the land. They obviously never have seen or listened to Cyanide Live. Seeing Cyanide Live and hearing their music is just absolutely phenomenal. And this band has put out a, an, inc an incredible discography. Um, a Dying Truth, uh, The Sent Into Hell, um, Death, Doom, and Destruction. And of course, this is their fourth full-length album. And of course, like those previous releases, this album is just as devastating to listen to all this time later, and I definitely think it deserves a lot more love and attention than what I feel it already gets. And I'm glad something like this got reissued. I mean, songs like Throne of Blood, Arm to the Teeth, Filled with Hate, One Thousand Ways to Die, Bastardized, just some sick and crazy death metal, amazing drumming, amazing bass tones, amazing riffs, and even more amazing vocals. Uh, they did a bang-up job with this album, and Hell's Headbangers did an even more bang-up job with this whole 20th anniversary presentation. So anyway, here's the front cover. Comes in this super nice glossy case wrap box. Very, very nice quality here. And then the back cover here with uh, track listings and information. There you see this is a triple LP set. You have the, the, the original album, the original mix, and some outtakes and uh, demo songs, which I think is really, really killer. There you have uh, LP1, which is the Divide and Conquer album. Bad number photos on this side. LP number two, which is the original album mix. And on this side you have lyrics for all the songs. And you have the third and final LP, which is the outtakes and demo songs. Very, very cool. Credits and information. And uh, this particular variant is limited to 500 copies. And the copy that I got comes on this very nice orange with black and brown splatter. Very, very top quality stuff here done by Hell's Headbangers. And... Yeah, they did an amazing job giving this album some well-deserved love here. I mean, if you're a Cyanide fan, I would highly recommend that you check this album out. This is just as good as anything this band has done throughout the almost 20, 30 plus years this band has been around. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's slip everything back in the slipcase here. But yeah, Cyanide, Divide and Conquer, check this one out. And with that being said, I'm going to conclude this video. Uh, if you, I'm going to leave you some links to some of the bands I talked to you about here. If you happen to have heard or own any of these releases, definitely let me know what you think about it, how you feel about it, and we can go from there. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until next time, Army Help out.